took longer than expected for a woman killed along a North Carolina highway to reach her final resting place. A body mix-up is why the North Carolina Medical Examiner's Office is under the microscope tonight. A hearing wrapped up today in Hillsborough. Renee Chu was there and talked to the family of the victim. Renee? Jackie, this case is one of the first to try and hold the state liable for mistakes made by medical examiners. In 2008, the wrong corpse was sent to Lorraine Young's grieving family in New Jersey. And that set off a search to find Young, whose body ended up in a Greensboro funeral home about to be cremated. Young just celebrated her 40th birthday with her two friends in Cancun. After flying into Charlotte, they rented a minivan. It veered off I-85, killing all three women. Young's face was badly burned. But the medical examiner in Guilford County did not do an autopsy to make a positive ID. Young's family is suing the state medical examiner's office and the highway patrol. Today, their case went before the North Carolina Industrial Commission. Once again, no recording devices were allowed, but the judge said pictures were okay, so I took these images with my iPhone. The family's attorney played the 2011 deposition of Ronald Key there on the screen, the medical examiner who shipped the wrong corpse, tagged as Lorraine Young. He said he relied on the trooper's identification of the victims. When asked why he did not independently verify who was who, Key said he felt the bodies were ID'd correctly. Former State Chief Medical Examiner John Butts testified, saying IDs made by law enforcement are accepted on a regular basis. Young's brother says the system needs to change. So we were prepared uh, and realized that death happens and car accidents happen, uh, but all the errors and omissions uh, that occurred uh, completely took uh, uh, my sister's death and turned it upside down. The family's attorney says because there were three dead victims, that one's face was badly burned and that no IDs were on the victims, it was the medical examiner's duty to use their training to make a positive ID. It will likely be two to three months before the judge makes a decision on this. Jackie? All right, Renee, thank you.